So in this final video, we're going to show you what this other script as a part of the project, linear equation, coming from the player object over here, this linear equation script, what that does. And before I explain the code, I would like to first give you a big picture of what this is for and how it's controlling the movement of the participant in a passive condition. So I'm going to show you a video over here. Um, as you can see on the left side, um, when participants go through the figure eight in either one of the two small or large environments, they go through a series of accelerations and decelerations. Uh, you can see the video on the left side where when the participant reaches the highest uh, um, point of the roller coaster, the speed incre uh, increases and as they're uh, decreases, sorry, and as they're going down, the speed increases. So similar to a real life roller coaster. And on, um, just going to go back on the right side over here. I've paused the video. So this is a visualization of what the velocity changes look like from a top-down view on each of the environments. Uh, so again, on the t um, very left side, middle side, and then the very far right side of the roller coaster, which corresponds to the lowest points of the roller coaster, so the minimum height, that is when the participant reaches the highest speed, which for the small environment corresponds to 2.25 meters per second roughly, and for the larger environment, it's around 50 meters per second. And this is where the height also differs between the two environments. Mm -hmm. And just to recap, the idea of the speed changes is really to find a way to get uh, people very quickly into motion sickness, so these parameters were optimized to maximize how quickly we can reliably induce motion sickness in a naturalistic setting. That's why we used the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. So one other thing that we don't, haven't shown over here is that these movements, these speed changes, accelerations and decelerations, happen at a sinusoidal frequency. And this, all of this uh, movement details, this movement profile, all of it is happening in this file over here. So I'm not going to go over every single detail. Um, there is a lot of calculation and math that is happening in this file, but I do want to give you an overview of what each function does roughly. Um, so in the fixed update function, starting from the very beginning, this is where at each second, at each frame, um, the position of the participant changes. So the uh, position changes, the velocity changes, and these are based on the participant's current um, location, position, and then their last position. Then there's some math happening over here. Um, and then if you would need to slow down, meaning that when the trial ends and when the participant reaches a, th a threshold of 50%, in this function is when the height um, smoothly goes down. You uh, participant can go down to their minimum height, and this is where it sort of dampens very slowly until that happens. Um, if we scroll down over here, um, this function over here, this happens at the beginning of the trial. This is setting the track length, meaning that the track length is not um, automatically set for each of the environments. At the first starting um, sort of initial uh, set part of when the trial starts, uh, the track length is calculated for each of the two environments, and that's happening over here. Um, so again, that's nothing that you would need to change. It's just happening automatically, and it's setting it, and it's using it for other calculations throughout the this code. Um, over here in this speed sinus method um, is where we have all of our frequency calculations. So how does our participant, the speed and deceleration, uh, how does it move based on the frequency that we want to? And then there's a bunch of things happening over here. We did some experiments with trying to randomize the acceleration and how we can use a random method to change the frequency, which um, we didn't end up using. It's still there. If anyone wants to try it out later, they, it could be changed. It's just a toggle that you can switch on and off on the, in the inspector. So the idea there was just to make it a bit more interesting and not uh, have it always identical, but we in the end opted for the uh, more repetitive and uh, experimentally controlled version. Exactly. This is just a test that we have over here. The final version, I should think it should be um, down over here where we can, we set, this is, yes, this is this line of code. This is where we set that frequency that we want, where we have that, as you can see, it's a, 
um, cosine function where it changes um, the movement based on that. Um, this is again another experiment that I was trying out, trying to see if we can bin the velocity. Um, again, going on a sinusoidal function, but in a, in a more, rather than a smooth way, in a bend way, which um, again was just an experiment, trying to see if that works out and if it was more fun. Um, and again, this is just a toggle on the inspector, which you can turn on and off if, we, if you would like to try that out. Um, but yeah, this one line over here is where the magic happens. And then over here in this get next position method, um, this is just getting, um, like as it says, it's getting the next position. This is where the position is updated every time. Um, I don't think there's a need for me to go over every line of it. It's not necessary. So many math, math calculations, but essentially it's just updating the position and you would not need to change that at any point. Um, these are just some methods. Um, again, no need to change it. It's just the basic methods that other larger, more complex methods end up using. Um, and then, yeah, that, that is essentially it. So if, if there's anything to do with um, changing the, um, the frequency, the type of movement that you would like to change, that all happens in this get uh, speed sinus method over here. Everything else, especially the last few lines, are just smaller, smaller methods that we just broke it down so that the calculations will be much easier. And that is it. Yeah, thanks.